More and more Americans are shopping for a mortgage online and getting approved uh, on an online app. And that is actually helping some undeserved or underserved, I should say, not undeserved. These are very <laughs> deserving, but under, underserved <laughs> borrowers uh, close in on a loan. And uh, Diana Ola joins us now with this great story. I, I, I feel like I've already <laughs> undermined the story, but it's uh, or maybe I'm selling it in <laughs> a different stop. way. Diana. <laughs> Now, look, online lending is taking over the mortgage market with older names like Quicken and Lending Tree, as well as upstarts like Better.com. And these online platforms may actually be leveling the playing field for borrowers and reducing bias in the market. Better.com, which reported 350% growth itself last year, also found some interesting numbers regarding its borrowers a tenfold increase in married LGBTQ couples five times the number of single women, a 675% jump in Gen Z borrowers, over 500% growth for Hispanics, and over 400% growth for African Americans. Now, the company's CEO says online lending is removing personalities and bias and just relying on financial numbers. Better.com's agents do not work on commission. A mortgage broker might judge and say, hey, maybe you shouldn't qualify for this or you shouldn't buy in a particular neighborhood or maybe your monthly payment should be this. Um, we're able to express the criteria that all the major investors and the government sponsored enterprises like Fannie Mae have and take that judgment out of the process and actually empower the consumer to make their own best decision. Now, more than 40% of Better.com's customers use their mobile phones to start the mortgage process. And Vishal Garg says Better.com did $700 million in loans this year and expects to do at least $2 billion in 2020.